Pleasant good evening, everybody. The front half of a huge garage in downtown Duluth collapsed this afternoon, smashing cars and sending bricks and rubble flying out onto First Street. There were no injuries, but damage figures will be substantial. We get more on the story now from Tom Lindner at the scene. It was just after 1 o'clock this afternoon when the roof collapsed under the weight of some three feet of snow, sending rubble crashing down on East First Street, leaving four cars demolished and the remains of the sagging garage precariously intact. City crews worked most of the afternoon clearing the debris and towing away what remained of the cars out front. Two Gold Cross ambulances were dispatched to the scene, though no one was injured in the cave-in. One eyewitness described what happened. I was about a half a block uh, up First Street, uh, driving inbound on, uh, on the street when the, all of a sudden I just happened to be looking to the left of a truck that was ahead of me, and this whole side of the building came right across First Street. Then a second side came down onto uh, 3rd Avenue East. Uh, it was impossible to tell or see at that time if there were any uh, individuals standing around. It just happened so fast. A boat and several other vehicles were in the building at the time of the incident, and an official from Crenzen Motors, the owner of the structure, say they were expecting a shipment of new cars for the garage before the collapse. The building was used primarily for storage. In years past, the 83-year-old edifice was the home of the Union Ice Rink, built in 1896 and served as an arena for road shows and other events. But now, it's expected to take several days before the damage report is complete. Tom Lindner, Channels 10 and 13 News. A number of automobiles parked along First Street were destroyed or heavily damaged when that hemlock garage fell. Bricks, mortar, and debris fell into the street with a thunderous roar, landing directly on top of at least four cars. A few others slightly damaged. One man told us he parked his car in front of the garage just 30 minutes earlier and returned to find it flattened by tons of rubble. At least three wreckers were called to the scene to clear away the cars and to pull the crushed vehicles from inside the old building. The contractor is expected to begin demolition work tomorrow on the rest of the building. Meanwhile, police have set up barricades tonight in an effort to keep people away from the structure. Personnel will be posted at the site until the remaining walls can be torn down. That demolition should begin tomorrow morning.